shut, for I fear of speaking blasphemy. My soul is tainted with purpose. The further my passion gets from me, the sooner I can let go of worldly things. The words I need to speak are choking me to death. There is no heaven for the restless, no hell for the unjust, just the non-believers. I lost all faith when the angel of death cast its shadow on my beloved. Now I fear that I am next to face the wrath of the almighty I grew up with. Take refuge in the Lord, for alone we cannot prosper. Our creator is shackled free will with the peril of eternal damnation. With him we can walk on water, but if man strays from his predetermined destination, he is faced with answerless questions and nothing to fill this empty space with. There is no choice but faith. Existence is a life devoted to shackled thoughts and no option to walk a different path than the one laid out for us. Our savior is our captor. Our father watches from his tower. Wielding brimstone to quell the fire of curiosity that burns inside of us. The light shines brightest when a mind is kept in the dark. Questions turn to damnation in the glow of the afterlife. The Lord created everything for his purpose. Even the wicked for the day that disaster lies. Night falls, and I can hear the serpent's sinister melodies calling for me. Singing a song of freedom as if it's within my grasp. He speaks of wisdom long forgotten. Tempting me with truths my ears weren't meant to hear and answers to questions I was not meant to ask. I lay still in the garden, for the fear of God knows no equal. Evil lies in the unknown, and a wavering heart will find itself swallowed up in the darkness of the places we were warned not to explore on our own. Three weeks have passed. The whispers in the night have grown louder. Persistently, the serpent beckons for me, promising he holds the key to the answers I've been seeking. I can't help but listen, and as hard as I try to fight it, I find myself venturing into the shadows intent on pulling the source of this temptation. I shout into the blackness, challenging my tormentor to show his face, when suddenly I stumble upon the serpent, coiled around a book he claims holds the answers to all things. He says the world we live in isn't as real as it seems, and reading this book of Genesis is a gateway to understanding the concept of existence. Against my every instinct, I open the first page and begin uncovering the space between the reality and fiction we live in. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Each word he wrote down brought the world inside his mind closer to fruition. Then God birthed the idea of man. With the stroke of his pen, he breathed existence into my very being. My entire life has been spent within the confines of his story. These puppet strings called a plot have dictated the path I walk. The curtains have been drawn, and the man behind them wasn't the all-knowing phantom he seemed to be. The things I've seen are so real to me, but it sinks in that they were nothing more than scenery for the scenes I'm reading. I've broken free from the clutches of my own fate. Now that I know the secret of creation, I can cut the strings and stand on my own two feet. But my faith was all I've ever had to believe in. Now I realize that enlightenment is a lonely state of mind to be in. I brought this to you for a reason, the serpent proclaimed. Your place in this universe is safe. If you walk away and stay on the path laid out for you, your life will remain the same as it was before you came to me. But I have what you've been seeking. The flames that rained down from heaven couldn't erase every piece of the fruit you swore you would never eat. The book isn't the key to creation. It is merely a door the fruit from the tree of knowledge can open. There is a whole new world, a higher state of being that awaits you, hidden in the unexplored terrains of your psychosis. You will find no return from this realm once you enter. No way back to the plane of existence you've called home your whole life. So know in your heart what you want, be sure of your decision, and choose the path you wish to take wisely. If I stay confined within the design laid out by this higher mind, there's no place for my light to shine, no escape from the binds of divine intervention, but the sights I'd see through my inner eye might blind me permanently. There's no purpose on the other side, I can never return from that empty eternity. A burning desire for freedom wrestles with the crippling fear of uncertainty. The turmoil I've felt inside cuts like a knife. Everything I thought I knew has been ripped apart, leaving only questions for me to decipher on my own. There's no turning back, no place in this world for me to belong in. I partake in the fruit of knowledge. Time and space begin to melt before falling to the wayside. I exit stage right and dive in the inner depths of my mind to discover the limits of what I'm hiding inside.
am a work of fiction turned new religion. There is no difference between my artistic vision and the world my characters live in. But these 26 letters, I severed ties with reality and created one in my image. I have gained omniscience through the art of creation. Mortality is a distant memory, basking in the glow of the bliss I've found inside these songs I've written. Disconcerted fits of existential angst have been replaced with the tranquility of this forever I've embraced. The smoke from the bridges I left ablaze has led me away from the need for sustenance. I have no desire for a place in this world, for I am the way, the truth, and the life, in the eyes of the nations I have spoken into existence.